The secret isn't about just using the best AI image model. It's simply using a combination of both prompting properly and the best AI model at the same time. Today, we're gonna to talk about how I was able to generate incredible results using Nano Banana Pro inside Hilo AI. And for those who are unfamiliar with Hilo AI, I'll leave a link to this in the description below and you can click it to learn more about it. Hilo AI isn't just about generating images, but they also have AI video models as well. So be sure to click the link in the description below for Hilo and check it out and see what you can do. The good news is that if you become a member of Hilo AI, you'll take advantage of generating unlimited images using Nano Banana Pro. So I'll leave a link to this in the description, learn more about it, and let's dive into it. And like I said, it isn't just about the tool, it's about how you can properly communicate with AI to tell it exactly what you want. So first of all, I wanted to show you our character friends that I use in my generations today. These are seven characters, they're missing one, but we have the majority of characters that I use in my generation. We have the male chef, the female chef, two female customers, and two male customers. Those are the exact characters I use in my generations. And I use Creative Studio 4 to add those characters onto my canvas, and I was able to export each character individually as a PNG image with a transparent background so that I can use it as a reference to tell AI exactly what I want to do with each character. And for those who are unfamiliar with Creative Studio 4, I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. Feel Feel free to check it out and learn more about it if you're interested. Now back to Nana Banana Pro inside Hilo AI. So first things first, I started out with an idea that I wanted to generate a pizza restaurant in a daylight mode and a night mode. So I started out with generating the image without characters for both modes, night and daylight mode and I was able to get great results. Then I thought, okay, now I wanted to add characters into each scene. And I was a little concerned because my experience with previous models, I did not get the exact results of the characters. They looked different than my reference images. But to my surprise that Nano Banana Pro handled it very well. As you can see in this image, the chef character looks identical to the one that we saw earlier and how professional the overall experience of the image looked like. You can see the crisp details of each element inside the background. You can also see see how Nano Banana Pro handled the topography really well for the menu right here, especially with the, with the text and everything. With all those elements, the menu basically looks real, that you would actually see this in real life when you enter restaurants. So I wanted to go further and then add more characters. Then I generated another image of the same scene, but I wanted to add another character to see how I can push this further and whether it would still be consistent. And as you can see, we use the female chef right here and it looks identical to the previous example or the reference image I used earlier. Now, fast forward to the latest image of the daylight mode, I was able to add six characters and as you can see, we have all characters in there. The couples are sitting on the right side and then another couple sitting on the left side with both chefs over there. They all look identical to the snapshots of the characters I used in my reference images. Now, I'm pretty sure you'll be surprised with how this looks like when we bring it to life by turning it into a video. So let's watch it now. Next up, the night mode scene. I started out with generating the image without characters, then I wanted to push it further and see how it will handle adding characters. So this is the first image I generated in the night mode scene. As you can see, I used the chef character and it handled it pretty well that the character looked identical exactly how it looks like in the reference image. The cool thing about the overall experience of the image, you can see how crisp the details are. You'll also notice a cool thing that there's a reflection of the chef on the glass on the left side right here. And then I wanted to advance the level of pushing the AI a little further by adding two more characters. So here's what it did. It basically added the two other characters, but then it made a mistake. As you can see, it repositioned the table from its place. And that was one of the flaws I was facing when generating the image. The problem with that is not AI. It's simply my way of communicating with AI. And so here's my recommendation that if you are looking to get the exact results you wanted, you have to treat AI as a kid and you got to be talkative. And I really mean it. So if you think AI is about cutting through the chase and getting straight to the point, then you're not going to get the results as expected. But you really have to be talkative. And what I mean by that is to try and be as specific as possible. Talk about everything you have in mind. Tell it exactly what you want in order for you to get the results that you're expecting. If you're interested in getting the same prompts that I use for those images, I'll leave a link to this in the description. But speaking of my prompts, they're not there for you to copy and paste. They're there for your inspiration. And what I simply mean 
mean by that is you can copy the prompts and use the same structure. So you would copy the prompt and paste it into ChatGPT, for example, tell AI that I want to use the same exact structure, except that you will tweak the prompt exactly how you want. So you can explain what you need from the prompt and tweak it the way you want. Be creative in your own way. Otherwise, you're not going to get the best results. So in order to get great results using AI, like I said, it's all about prompting the right way and using the best AI image model. So what you have to do at this point is to try and be as detailed as possible. And so fast forward to this scene, as you can see here, the cool thing about this is that I was able to consistently add all characters and make them look exactly like they're part of the image. And you can see all characters look identical to the reference images I showed you earlier. The cool thing about Nano Banana Pro handling characters is that it consistently adds characters as is. So when you upload a reference image and you ask Nano Banana Pro to embed or link that element to the background, it'll follow the exact rules and make it look like it's part of the scene. So you can see how beautiful the scene ended up and you can see the reflections of the lighting from the stove right there, the rim light on both characters over here. You can also see the reflection from the other characters on the left side and you'll notice the reflection on the glass as well for the chef and the female character, which is really amazing. You'll notice a, a little detail about the chef character as well that her reflection is also on the floor, which is so incredible. I love how detailed Nano Banana Pro handles all those characters and adding them exactly how I wanted in the background. Now let's take a look and see this one in action as well. Finally, I wanted to generate an image of a restaurant with a table for a couple. But again, the problem was with my prompt. So you can see here, the result is incredible. It looks fascinating, except that it's not useful for my use case. And so the problem is in my prompt, it's not AI. And I'm going to prove that to you because my next generation was exactly like this. It still looks great and everything, but was not exactly what I wanted. And then finally, I was able to generate this beautiful image that I can use for my characters. All I wanted was a table for a couple in this romantic mode. So then I wanted to add a couple on a date. And here is the result. You can see how incredible those characters look like. They're truly amazing. And you can see how crisp the details of each character, especially the female one, how detailed her facial expressions, her hair, her clothes, and everything. Even the male character as well. The level of detail in Nana Banana Pro is so incredible. Now let me show you this one in action and you'll be amazed by the results. You always choose the best places. Only when I'm with you. So like I said earlier, it's not just about the best AI image model. It's really about how you communicate with AI, telling it exactly what you want. But don't worry, I'm not going to leave you behind. I'll leave a link to my prompts in the description below just for your inspiration. So all you have to do is just copy the prompts, paste them in the chat GPT and tell it exactly what you want and mention that you want to use the same exact structure. But of course, after tweaking the prompt, however you like, be more creative and unique. If you found this video helpful today be sure to subscribe like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below until then i'll see you on the next one Me